Alright, hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Keith. You're going to do another tutorial this time telling you how to improve your quality. And essentially, for the people that don't know how to get HD, there are two levels of HD, and I'll go over them in a second. So, starting out, let's just say for your entire video, it was just one simple clip. Obviously, if you're going to have like a full fledged video, it's going to be more, and there's going to be editing involved. But assuming that you've already done that, this is what we're going to do right click on each of your videos, switches, and then disable resampling. Resampling is a Sony Vegas' attempt at making like Gaussian blur, or motion blur I meant, not Gaussian blur, but it's Sony Vegas' attempt at doing motion blur, and it looks very bad, and you can see in a lot of videos that it will just make it look fuzzy and just overall degrade the quality. And then, for the next step, we're going to go up into File, Properties, and this is the most essential part. Well, it's the first step to the most essential part. You want to make sure this width right here for 720p is 1280 by 720. If you want 1080p, then it's 1920 by 1080. So, just because um, 720p is faster rendering and not many people are going to waste their time for a regular Call of Duty video on 1080p, but <clears throat> assuming that you recorded it in 1080p and everything else, then you can do whatever you want. But for standard 720p, it'll be fine for HD. Not to mention, it'll look, still look good in 320, I think it is, and 480p. And then frame rate, you want 29 by 970. That essentially just means that it's 30 frames per second, which is the standard for video. Pixel format, 8-bit, resolution quality, uh, you can keep it at good, and it will look fine, but if you want for the extra, you can have it as best. Uh, motion type, you're just going to keep it at Gaussian, but we've just disabled that anyway, so it doesn't really matter by disabling resampling. Blend fields as your deinterlace method, and then you can click down at the bottom, start all new projects with these settings. That means every time you open up Sony Vegas, you no longer have to do this. It'll all be there. Or if you wanted to, you could just like go up here, do 720p, 30, 30p, which 30 is obviously frame rate. Field order, none, progressive scan, pickle, a, pick, pickle, pixel aspect ratio, one or square. And that's about it for this. Just hit apply. And then we're going to go into... <clears throat> Assuming you've completed your video, highlight it, and then go to File, Render As. And then what we're doing from here is we're going to go down to Template, hit Custom. The sound, I mean, unless you want like a really high quality sound video, the default should be just fine. Um, right now I have it at 1080p, but that's just because I'm recording a full video with my entire screen. But uh, assuming you wanted a just regular 720p, you're going to go 1280 by 720. And this has to match with, absolutely has to ma match with, the property settings you did before. So if you set it at 1280 by 720, then these settings have to be 1280 by 720. If you did it to 1080p, which is uh, 1920 by 1080, or no, yes, 1920 by 1080, yes, then these have to be 1920 by 1080. And then you're essentially just going to see the same stuff. CBR, image side, if you're going to do 1080, you have to do it as custom because there's no option in here. But if you wanted to, you don't have to do custom, but you could just pick the high definition, which will be the standard 720p. And once again, frame rate is going to be 30 or 29.970. Seconds per keyframe, 3. Override default compression buffer, 3. And you can keep this in between anywhere between like 85 to 100. I keep it at 100 just because I can. And then this is going to be somewhat important as well. You're not going to ever want this bit rate. You want to have it at internet slash LAN. And you would never want this to drop below 2. If it is, you're going to see that your video is choppy. And you're going to be wondering, even though you have 30 frames per second, that this if you drop this down to like, I don't know, one, you're going to start seeing that it's not only a lower grade video, but it's going to start looking choppy and laggy, and you're not going to want that. 
because it could also start problems with um, out of frame or out of sync audio. And then really you just want to use project settings, which is the system or the, the properties that we just did. And then you hit OK. And you're probably going to want to save that so you don't have to do that each of it, each time. And then you just hit save and it will start rendering out the video. And I think I did this in 720p. But that's essentially it. That's really all you have to worry about when it comes to videos. And that's about it. I mean, if you wanted to, you can go into a bit extra. I'm just going to cancel it really quick. And I see some people, what they'll do is they'll go down to sharpen and do a light sharpen and set it to like 0.2 or something um, and that could make it a little bit more HD looking and then there's another thing that you could do to make the video have nicer colors you could do studio RGB to computer RGB and that'll just give it a little more contrast and add slightly denser colors and then you could just do the same exact thing for rendering so that's about it Thank you for watching the video. If you want to see any more tutorials or anything at all, if I didn't mention anything that you wanted me to mention, leave a comment and I will answer your questions. Thank you for watching. This has been I am Keese, and I am out.